Hello, this is Bashar. In this one, I will show how we can debug a Node.js application. You can find the repository of this tutorial right here in my GitHub. And the main branch is containing the application with the issue. And in fix branch, we have the fix. You can just clone this one and do the debugging by yourself if you like. The project is open here in VS Code and currently I am at the main branch. And let's go over the project structure. This is a simple application. We have this index.js. We are running this app in port 3000. And here in the SRC, we have the app. We are creating an express application. We are using this router, user router right here. And in this user router, we have the routes for the post and the get and we are taking the request body and passing it to user service. And as a result, it returns the saved user's ID and returns it back to the client. And we have this get endpoint, which is calling this user service get users and returns that back. And for testing this application, I will be using this extension Thunder Client. So this is like similar to Postman. Here you just click the new request to create a request. You select the, the methods, you type the URL, you add the body and so on. So I will be using this extension and let's see the problem first. Opening a terminal and running the application, running it npm start. Now the app is running and the issue is when we post a user, let me resize this part. So this section has a request body like this there's this username in this JSON. And when I send this one, here I receive this error saying 500 internal server error. And we have this error detail. Now let's debug this issue with the debugger. And for this one, again, we have an extension, JavaScript debugger. If it's not installed, then please install this one. It is already installed in my VS Code. First, I'm just stopping this NPM console. Then I'm switching to this debug section. Here you will see this one, JavaScript debug terminal. Just clicking this one. It is opening a new terminal here and you will see the name of the terminal right here as well. Now, all we will do is just run the application as we do in any other terminal. So I'm just typing npm start. And here we see the, the debugging section is automatically activated. And now we can just go back to our code, like the user router, and we can add breakpoints anywhere we want. So the request we are sending is the post request. So the request will be hitting to this endpoint. So just adding a breakpoint to this line. And again, sending the request once again to see how it is being processed. Clicking the send and the breakpoint is stopping the execution right at this line. Now we are taking the, the body as a user object. Let's step over this line. So this line will be executed and we will see what is the user object is. And here in this section, we can see the values of these variables. So like if I just step over this one, here we can see the user is updated, but here we can see it is undefined. And we are calling this user service save function with this variable user and which is undefined. Now we can go into this execution. Uh, we can just step into this one by clicking this down arrow. And here we are in user service in the save function. And this one is basically delegating the save, save operation to the user repository save user. And we can just step into that one as well. And right here in this line save user, we are generating an ID for this user before adding it to the user list. So this is just a sample implementation. We don't have database or anything. We just store the users in the array and we dynamically generate IDs for them like this. So we are at this line and at the moment this user 
the parameter we are receiving is undefined and when we are adding this ID to this undefined object the error is thrown. So like let's step over this one and now we see it's causing an error and in the end this error is being handled right here in the express library and we can just go like this step out this part we can step out this part as well or we can just hit this one to uh, continue the process and in the end this is ending up with the failure so here we can see the error is sent back to the user now the problem is when we are processing the request the request body is not containing the user object but in the outgoing request from the thunder we are adding that part to the request having this username and the problem is basically in app we need to use the middleware to parse the incoming request body and we can use app use express json to parse the incoming request body as json objects so let's save this one the application is restarted and let's try one more time we have this breakpoint right here so again when we send the request the breakpoint is stopping the execution and if we step over this one here we can see the user object is having this username and also we can see that user info right here there is this username field is having the value of user1 and then we can just step into this user service save function and it takes the user object then we step into this user repository and it is also having this user one and if we just step over this one now the user object is updated uh, other than the username we have the id field now and we are pushing this user to this users array then returning back the users id and this one is returning back the id and we have the id and as a response we are sending this id back to the client and here if i change the size here now we got this response back so that's how we can use the debugger functionality of the vs code with the debugger we can see the step-by-step -step, uh, process of the request and see which section is causing the trouble so that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one.